Hello everybody! Welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain Euclidean geometry, more specifically how to prove triangles similar. And then here I will discuss when corresponding sides of two triangles are in proportion, then they are similar. This is lesson 4 of 11. Now we have a theorem that states, when the corresponding sides of two triangles are in proportion, then they are similar. And there's the abbreviation that you may use, sides proportion. Now, given is the big triangle ABC and the small triangle DEG with the ratio AB over DE equals to the ratio AC over DG equals BC over EG. Required to prove is that angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, and angle C is equal to angle G. We have a construction that is draw HI such that AH's length is equal to DE and AI is equal to DG. Now here's the proof. Do you agree AB over DE is equal to AC over DG? That was given. But then we can now replace DE with AH and DG with AI, because that was the construction. Therefore, HI will be parallel to BC, because it divides the sides proportionally. Therefore, angle B is then equal to the corresponding angle AHI, since I, HI is parallel to BC. And Angle C is equal to the corresponding angle AIH. Therefore, triangle AHI, the little one inside the big one, is similar to the big one ABC because they are equiangular. Now, because they are equiangular, we can say that HI over BC is equal to AH over AB is equal to DE over AB. Remember, AH is equal to DE. That was the construction. And EG is equal to BC. That was given. Therefore, HI is equal to EG which in turn makes that triangle AHI is congruent to triangle DEG, the small one on the left-hand side. And the reason is side, side, side. Therefore, triangle ABC and triangle DEG are equiangular. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar. To triangle D E G. Let's do an example. In triangle J L M, that's the big one, K O is equal to 5, J K is equal to 4, K L is equal to 8, J O is equal to 6, and O M is equal to 2, and Lm is equal to 10. We have to prove that triangle JKO, the little one, is similar to triangle JML, the big one. So if we can prove that the sides are in the same proportion or ratio, then the triangles will be similar. Let's see. Do you agree? JK over JM is equal to 4 over 8, which simplifies to a half. 
KO over ML is equal to 5 over 10, and that simplifies to a half. JO over JL is 6 over 12, and that's a half. Therefore, all three of the sides are the, the ratio is equal to a half. Therefore, the two triangles are similar and your reason corresponding sides of a triangle in same proportion. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And you can also visit my website onlinemats.co.za. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the examples. Let's do another example. In triangle SPR, that's the blue one there, the little one, and triangle SQP, that's the big triangle, the following is given. PQ is equal to 9, QR is equal to 10, RS is equal to 8, and SP is equal to 12, and PR is equal to 6. We have to prove that angle P1 is equal to angle Q. Now, if we can prove that these two triangles are similar, then the, uh, they will be equiangular. Let's see. In triangle SPR, that's the blue one, and triangle SQP, that's the big one. We can say the ratio SP over SQ is 12 over 18. Now, where does the 18 come from? Do you agree 10 plus 8 is 18? And when we simplify that, it simplifies to 2 over 3. Then we can do the ratio PR over QP is equal to 6 over 9, which simplifies to 2 over 3. And the ratio SR over SP is equal to 8 over 12, and it simplifies to 2 over 3. Therefore, the ratio SP over SQ is equal to the ratio PR over QP is equal to the ratio SR over SP. They are all equal to two thirds. Therefore, triangle SPR is similar to triangle SQP and the reason is the corresponding sides of the triangles are in the same proportion. Therefore, we can say that angle P1 is equal to Q. Let's do another example. In the diagram, BC is equal to CD. Prove that at number 1, triangle AEB, the green triangle, is similar to triangle A. D, C. And there you find a little blue triangle on the right hand side. Now, let's start. To prove two triangles similar, we need three angles equal. So we can say, so there's your blue triangle. So we can say in triangle AEB, the green one, and triangle ADC, the blue one, the following is happening. Angle A1 which is this angle, is equal to angle A2. And the reason why we can say that is chords, equal chords subtend equal angles. Can you remember it was given that BC is equal to CD? This is an old reason from grade 11. Then we can also say that angle B2 is equal to angle C1. And the reason why we can say that is because, because 
called AD subtends equal angles. Therefore, without thinking, the third angle, angle E2, is equal to angle D, and your reason, third angle of a triangle, or just angles of a triangle. Then we can write down, triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD, and please note the order in which you're going to write that. And then your reason will be angle, angle, angle. Then the second question wants us to write down that AE times AC is equal to AB times AD. And by now you understand we get that by writing down the ratios because the triangles are similar. So we know that triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD. Therefore, we can write the ratio AB over AC is equal to the ratio BE over CD is equal to the ratio AE over the ratio uh, AD. Then, and we can do that because the two triangles are similar, we are looking for AE, if you have a look at this part over there, AE times AC equals AB, which is this one, times AD. So this is by for now, and we can cross multiply and we end with AE times AC is equal to AB times AD. In the next lesson, I will discuss the theorem of Pythagoras, the proof as well as plenty of examples. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.